correctly submitted. After his father died in 1923, Farnsworth used his love of electronics to start a business selling and repairing radios. In 1926, two California businessmen decided they would like to invest in his ideas for the television. They told him they would invest $6,000 on the condition that he moved to Los Angeles to continue his research. It wasn't until 1927 that he filed his first patent for the electronic TV. No one knew at the time that the Radio Corporation of America, or RCA, was trying to hold a monopoly on the television industry, whether it be mechanical or electronic. <coughs> they sent a Russian scientist, Vladimir Zvorkin, to spy on Philo Farnsworth's laboratories. Not knowing what was really going on, Farnsworth gave Zvorkin unlimited access to his lab for several days. In the article by Matthew Fenton, The Kid Who Invented TV, Zvorkin is stated as saying that the image dissector is a beautiful instrument. It's also stated that he said, I wish I had invented it. Upon returning to RCA, he did in fact try to claim that he was the inventor of the image dissector. After spending most of the 1930s in court for his inventions, <clears throat> Farnsworth was able to fight with RCA. The turning point in that case was when Tolman came forward with Farnsworth's original sketch of the image dissector that he had made many years before. By this time, <clears throat> Farnsworth's money was almost gone. The U.S. Patent Office did rule in his favor, but he was not able to continue manufacturing <coughs> his television until 1946, after his patents would already be expired. In conclusion, Philo Farnsworth's invention is now in almost every home around the world. Due to his love of electronics and determination at such a young age, we all enjoy hours of entertainment with our family and friends. His fight for his rights with his first invention also led him to go on to invent many other things, including incubators for infants and rocket guidance systems. Johnny Carson is quoted as saying, if it weren't for Philo T. Farnsworth, the inventor of television, we'd still be sitting around eating frozen radio dinners. <laughs> Thank you.